Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gatekeeper, and welcome back to another spooky, spooky, scary episode of Corpse Party. Uh, when we last left off, uh, Seiko had to go and uh, find the jailbait. I mean, Yuga. She was screaming Oni Chan again. Uh, a lot of shit has happened. I know it's been a hot minute since I put up a video. Um, I am recovering from COVID, so that was fun. I was out for about a, about a week, and I'm still kind of like a little leak. Just, but I'm at the point where I'm comfortable going back to work. I went back yesterday, uh, today being the 4th of February as I'm recording this. So, yeah. Um, COVID sucked. Uh, <laughs> I was bedridden for about a week. Uh, didn't bother getting out of bed. I just drugged the hell out of myself with some NyQuil and just fucking stayed comatose until I was not dying anymore. And that seemed to do the trick. <laughs> Even though I was hacking up half my lung in the process. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm only coughing up a quarter of my lung now. It's fine. Life life moves on. But yeah, anywho, uh, we're back playing some Kirps Purity. Uh, been a hot minute since I've been... Playing this. So, yeah, Seiko left to go find Yuka. Oh, yeah, I already read all this. What do they need all these for? I don't know. It's a freaking. <laughs> it's a nurse's office. I read the book. There's an old journal on the desk. Is there anything in it? No, I guess not. Hey, uh, let's try to go find Seiko. Why is the door locked? I don't know. Maybe because Seiko is trying to trap you in here with the ghosts. You bitch! <laughs> I knew it! She was the mastermind behind this whole thing! Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> uh, on closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. Well, that's not good. Well, what the hell is holding it? Is it a, is it a ghost? Are the ghosts, like, playing a prank like, you know, like your brother would do? Like, hold the door and you're like, let me out, I can't get out, man! <laughs> My brother used to do that to me all the time. Shit sucks. There's a ghost doing that, so, you know. Spooky. What? what? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? That question of the year, Naomi. Alright, well, let's go look around. Hello! Hi, friend. How you doing? I love it! It's really good! Mm. Oh, children in a, in a horror game, that's always a good sign. Oh no. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, uh. Oof. The, uh, um. Hi. No, thank you. <laughs> uh. And go, just jump out the window, please. Throw the chair through the window. God damn it, Naomi. <laughs> Shit to get. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Well, pick up the phone then, you dingus. <laughs> stop it. Stop it with that, please. <laughs> oh no, I hate it. There's something on the door? What the fuck? Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, is there is there hair um, door latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place? Is there now? Mm, how to get there? I'm dying to know. Was it a ghost? Mm, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh no! <laughs> oh, shit's going down, boys and girls. Oh no! Yeah, I think there's someone there. It's probably a ghost, Naomi. You did not put two and two together yet. It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Wow, great deductive skills. Hello, here you go. Oh, God. Okay, I won't interrupt you writing in your journal or whatever. Jesus Christ. No, who's Sachi? Sachiko? And I'm not her. I'm not. No, <laughs> hi. Hello, friend. <laughs> How are you? Uh, you seem friendly. Oh. oh, is that what you look like? Oh, thank you for the nightmares. I'm never sleeping again. 
Oh no. I need to get away. Yeah, good thinking. Let's get the, the rip the hair out. Uh, okay. Uh, rip it open. Damn it, Naomi. Uh, uh, yes, burn it. Hair's, hair can burn. The flame wasn't strong enough. Oh, god damn it. The hair burns. What the fuck? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Ha, ah, can't get me over here. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. <laughs> oh no, I fucked up. Uh, the black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. Normally that'd be really hot, but not in, the, not in this situation. I want out of this, please. Death is inevitable. Run! You stupid. Uh, is there like jet fuel? The, the alcohol, that works. Yes. Get it. Run, Naomi. Run, you damn fool. Uh. Go 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 Yes, douse the hairs. Yes. Okay. After hastily splashing alcohol all along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match and lit one up for and and lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. Go. Run, Naomi, with a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat. You ever smell burning hair? I don't recommend it. It's not a good time. The hair lit up, then hardened and fell away, freeing the door and allowing it to open. Okay, great. We're gonna go, uh, go, go! Go! I thought it was gonna automatically leave for me. No, no don't do that. Whew. Okay, well, so far we're not dead. Uh. Yeah, I'd imagine your body's trying to reject what just happened. That's like a self-defense mechanism. <laughs> Cough the ghost sweat. Don't you follow me. Don't you, I'm going to kill you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for that, that wonderful note. Um, could you uh, hear me out, Mr. Ghost Man? Could you not do that? Could you, uh, by chance, let me go? And like bring me back home to my family and bring my friends back so that I can fuck Seiko. I mean, uh, the other dude whose name I forgot. I'm gonna kill you. Well, lovely. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, this is this is like permanently scarring for life. Oh oh oh! Don't oh uh, no no ow ow you uh, you. <laughs> Even though it's only like a couple pixels, Jesus Christ. Also, why is it red? Are you hacking up blood, Naomi? That's probably like the, the demon jizz that like, it was inserted into her face when the ghost wrapped her itself around her. Again, normally under different circumstances, like tentacles wrapping around a schoolgirl in, the, in an anime thing is hot as shit. Not when it's a ghost trying to rip out your face. Patter, patter. I swear to God, that better not be a fucking ghost. Don't you dare. Oh, it's Seiko. Oh, my wife. Wow. I missed you. Naomi. Naomi, what happened? You okay? No. A fucking ghost tried to rip out my... I was about to say my scrotum for some reason. I don't think that would apply in this scenario. <laughs> Just a hunch. Unless we got a tramp situation going on. That's a... That's a whole other mess. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> oh, such a such a Japanese thing to apologize for, to like hacking up your, your your stomach. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. <laughs> Stop it. Everything's okay. You'll feel better. <laughs> Seiko just slowly like starts choking her. Everything will be all right, Naomi. It's time to sleep now, Naomi. <laughs> it's just like Jesus, Seiko. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? Yes! I don't know if she does, but I need it. <laughs> For different reasons. I have my own reasons. Shut up. Oof, a big oof. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. I only, like... Threw up half of the blood in my body, but I'll be fine. I'll make it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally unscathed. Did you find the jailbait? Huh? Uh. 
I've never once heard somebody say, huh-uh. It's like, uh-uh. Like, mm-mm. I've never heard, huh-uh. I don't think it's a thing. Oh, Japan, your weird-ass translations. Trying to be accurate to how people speak. <laughs> you failed. Looks like we really are the only two people here. Uh, there's a shitload of ghosts. Do, did you not, like, remember that, Seiko? Naomi sure does. She almost got fucking tentacle raped by one of them. <laughs> yeah. The only two living people anyway. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Seiko. There's probably like a trillion ghosts. And demons and goblins and such. This place is just way too quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty pretty spooky. I mean, it wasn't quiet or like, you know, 10 minutes ago when I was screaming for my life, setting a door on fire because there was a bunch of spooky ghost hair trapping it and holding it in place. And that fucking shadow demon tried to rape my face. It's not a good time for anybody. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Did you get uh, attempted uh, rape by a ghost? Uh, you know, just normal Tuesday afternoon uh, in Japan. Are you okay to be up and about? Well, I don't have a choice. We gotta run away from the ghost that literally said it's going to kill me. So we should probably get the fuck out of here. Like, the opposite end of the school, ideally. While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. Naomi, you can just call them African American. There's no need to get racist, Naomi. You sack of shit. It, it, oh god, that face that Seiko made, he's making me. She's like, oh shit! Just, I mean, accurate. If your friend came up to you in like, the demon school that you got trapped in, in the world of hell, that like Satan's domain, and you got a uh, uh, fucking tentacle demon shadow ghost tried to fucking rape you. Yeah, you'd be a little bit like, what the fuck? Holy shit, you okay, bro? They'd be like, no. My holes will never be the same. <laughs> it's like the guy from uh, Pulp Fiction. I forgot the actor's name. He's like, nah. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. Spoilers. Watch Pulp Fiction. Good movie. Gotta love Quentin Tarantino. Great, great movie. Watch Pulp Fiction. 10 out of 10. We, we should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. Thank you for having a brain. You know, the room that the ghost was trying to rape me in. Let's just never go anywhere near there. Ever. Period. And life will be good. I'm, I'm down. That's, works, that's good for me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> no, you know, you know what I was I was just thinking. Like, hey, the room where you were almost killed and murdered by a shadow demon creature ghost thing. I'm gonna go in there and just chill for a bit. Just fucking just light one up, bro. <laughs> maybe maybe the ghosts will be a lot more chill if I offer them a, offer them a fucking uh, a doobie. <laughs> I sound like the, like a fucking narc. <laughs> Never done drugs. At least not smoking, at least. Oh, Seiko, you're so cute. I love your face. You're so adorable. Uh, I guess you better keep on moving then. Can you stand? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I have a sprained ankle. You ever tried standing on a sprained ankle? It, you, you just can't. It shit sucks. But where are we supposed to go? Valid question. Very valid question. Where the fuck do they go? They've basically been everywhere. And, uh, they didn't, they found no way to get out. Hmm, well, uh, we could kill ourselves. That, that fix all our problems. <laughs> you don't have to deal with, with scary ghosts trying to, you know, molest you when you're dead. <laughs> it will go on on our terms, fucking Naomi. You've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. I mean, she's not wrong. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Or trying to make us dead. Or both. Damn it. There I go again, being a bitch. Is that Naomi saying that? Doesn't have the... Naomi. Doesn't have the Naomi. I think that's her. Now it's hopeless. We're finished. And I'm so tired. That is... You can't really blame Naomi for being exhausted from all this shit. Having to walk around and do all this shit, running away from a tentacle demon rape monster with a sprained ankle. 
Yeah, I'd imagine she'd be pretty fucking tired. I just want to take a nap. I'm acting like a child again. So, oh, oh, so you're aware that you're being a little rotten little bitch? How about you stop that shit? Naomi, come on, it's not that bad. No, I mean it's pretty fucking bad, Seiko. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I like to try to be a half glass, uh, half glass full kind of guy, but I mean, fuck, <laughs> kind of hard to do that in this scenario. And we'll figure something out. Class two, is that a nine? Is that a four or nine? I don't know, two fours, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how that works in Japan. Like the, like the whole classing system. Why can't they just be, do like America and just do freshman, senior, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior? Make it easy. Or like, you know, seventh, eighth grade. They gotta do a oh, class, class one, three or whatever. It's like, why? Why do you gotta make it so dang complicated for my, my tiny little peanut sized brain? No, class two fours, I guess, never say die, right? We're invincible. Uh, unfortunately, that is um, false advertising, Seiko. You are, in fact, not invincible. At, at least, as we have been previously led to believe. Unless you secretly are like a ghost yourself and don't die because you're already dead. I, I don't know. Could be, could be a hell of a twist. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you got your priorities straight, Seiko. Who cares about making sure your friends get out of this this Satan realm alive and making sure that you don't die and then you know try to avoid horrible things? Your first priority should be your hairdresser's appointment in the morning. Glad to know you got your got your shit straight. <laughs> I got an appointment in the morning at first thing in the morning tomorrow and I intend to keep it. Oh great. Glad you have goals in life. And then in the afternoon, what say you and I go and fuck? I mean, I, I, I get our bikes fixed. Get our bikes fixed. That's what I said. We'll just, we'll just pretend that that's what it's. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, right? No, fuck you. If we make it back alive, sure. Uh, uh, basically, not too far off from. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> This is Seiko. What am I doing? Yeah, why are you being a bitch to my wife, Naomi? I will kill you before the ghosts get to you. I'll protect my waifu. Don't you fucking... I'll fight you, Naomi. I just can't seem to hold back. So, so you're aware, fully conscious that you're being a complete bitch right now, and you're still going through with it. That's that's how you're going to be playing, is that? Great. Naomi... Are you like super duper tired or something? This is not so not like you. You're never a bitch. Come on, raise that chin. And uh, I'll raise those boobs into my face. <laughs> I'm sure that's what Seiko, Seiko and I are on. We're on a very similar wavelength when it comes to wanting to just plow Naomi. <laughs> that's the thing that I just said and put out for everyone to watch on the internet. Great! That's never going away. <laughs> Good to know I could ever run for political office now because of this shit. Not that I wanted to, but <laughs> this is the sort of shit that like my opponent would use against would like use against me and be like, <laughs> "It's like Michael Narek, you shouldn't be the mayor of Portland or whatever." Do you? Because he has this YouTube channel where he's horny as shit. Like, what the fuck is up with that? And I would just like I get like no votes. She would suck. <laughs> the only thing we had to fear is fear itself. No, I'm pretty sure there's ghosts to fear and possibly demons. Uh, one hundred percent. That's that fucking ghost girl with the long black hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. We definitely have. You know, to fear her. In fact, it's probably the only thing we should fear. She seems to be an all-powerful demon. The hell's got you so chipper? Oh, fuck you, Naomi. Why you gotta be such an ass? She's trying to stay positive, you fuck. Why you gotta be such a narc? Why you gotta be such a bitch, Naomi? Go stick a dick up your face. As punishment. You just keep smiling and laughing. 
What's wrong with that? D -d Do I? Yes, and I love it, and you're amazing, Seiko. Don't let anyone like fucking Naomi tell you otherwise. I love you. You're amazing. Stay awesome. I'm not horny. Can't prove it. <laughs> Those... Why are you bringing in the music? Don't bring in the spooky music. This is the music that played when we were trapped in that one room. Are we going to be trapped in this hallway now? Oh, God. I hate this fucking music. It's so spooky. <laughs> oh, God, it's spooky. Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? I mean, I guess she's, like, being realistic, but, like, fuck, Naomi, you gotta at least, you know, pretend. Eat that shit to yourself. Do you even have any thought at all? Ooh, figure something out. That's a load of bullshit and you know it. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. Yeah, I did you now. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. That's unfortunate. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. Fuck you, Naomi. I used to think you were super hot because you got big old tits, but now I hate you. You're mean to my waifu. Go eat all the dicks, Naomi. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. Very accurate description. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. You can bitch to the ghost, not to the fucking Seiko. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan. Oh yeah, that's hot. Complain and belittle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. Well, I'm glad you're aware that you're behaving as such. But if you could stop that, though, that would be just delightful. Because you're hurting my waifu's feelings. You absolute bitch. And I'm sure our families are gonna why'd they have to separate like that they're gonna be really worried about us they're gonna search and search but they'll never find us it'll be a terrible burden for them <laughs> Sicko comes up like, fuck you nail you bitch just slaps the shit out of her <laughs> you're wrong how so fuck you Naomi for Christ's sake about it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. I mean... It is and isn't. At least I don't think so, but you know. This is Seiko. She tries to stay positive. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can. To make her proud. Her? Who's her? Like, like, like your dog or something? You just want to, so you do. <laughs> The fuck is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. Oh, that's that's a lot of exposition in like the span of a second. Okay. Is is Seiko's mom dead and she's is is the is the ghost girl? Seiko's mom and <laughs> she's pissed because she didn't like do her homework or something. <laughs> that would be the stupidest plot. <laughs> Seiko's ghost mom is like, you didn't do your chores, you didn't take out the trash, so therefore I'm gonna trap you and all your friends in this nightmare school uh, alternate dimension where there's ghosts that are trying to rip out your face. You fucking bitch, Naomi. That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. No, they're probably gonna be pretty fucking depressed. Like, ah, oh, my child is dead. Stupid. I don't know how it is for you and your family. My family don't give two fucks about me. But normal people don't work that way. Oh, fuck off, Naomi. I swear to God, I will, I will kill your face right now. Naomi. Why are you making her sad, Naomi? I hate you. Sorry. How about we split up? No. Have you ever seen any horror movie ever? What usually causes the people to die? It's when they split up. Or the stupid blonde bimbo girl that in every horror movie has to trip on some tiny little thing on the ground. And then the, the like, axe murderer comes and stabs her. We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help get us out of here. Yeah. We've already looked, like, everywhere, so... 
I don't know what you hope to find. Seems the most efficient plan to attack, don't you think? No. Who the hell do you think you are, you bitch? Who says things like that? <laughs> Seiko seen horror movies. She's like, Naomi, you dumbass. Are you trying to get us killed? <laughs> I have to apologize. Yeah, you probably should do that. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you. Even though you're you're right here, haha. Huh? I don't know who's you. Is that like her dog, or like her brother, or something? I don't know. Someone in the family, I guess. Everybody else. I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. That's fair. That's very fair. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. Don't think about it. Do it, you stupid. Why are you apologizing, Naomi? Oh my god, this fucking game. But most of all, I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. You bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry! Say it, you stupid! Seiko, I... I... I'm... I'm... Just fucking say it! Yeah. Stupid bitch! I want to fuck you. I mean, uh, I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. You bitch, Naomi. If you get my wife who killed, I swear to God, I will sue you. I'll find a way. I will sue you even though you're a fictional character from a game. I'll do it, no balls. I'll go this way. Okay, I love you, Seiko. I hope you, you'll be okay, and I love you forever. What the hell's wrong with me? Yeah! Couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. You're just a heartless bitch, aren't you, Naomi? I I, I hope the ghosts murder you now. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, go, go walk through the puddle of dead person. Oh, God. And so? In this nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving uh, place were quickly and easily divided. Probably because Naomi's a fucking cunt who's like, hey, we should split up even though we're in a horror game and that, that, that won't end well. <laughs> My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> it's spooky scary. What's this? Say Oh Oh say go. Oh stop it. They can be sad. Oh I'm sorry, Dave. I'm sorry, Zeko. I'm sorry you're sad. <laughs> you baka. Fucking bitch. What's all this shit? Several crumpled bit. What the? I, just, I don't know where this music came from, but this is awesome. <laughs> Shit's awesome, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! This music is awesome! Oh, oh, I already read this. Okay, it's like too loud, but it's fine. I can. I'll fix it in post! <laughs> oh my god. This music is awesome! <laughs> I already read this. I already read this. I think. Oh. Ooh! Mommy's gone, mommy's gone. Daddy, I can't find mommy anywhere. Ah, wang. Ah, sniffle. This music is so freaking cool. I love the soundtrack for this game. It's so good. Ah, oh, this is the best part about this game. The story, the music, they're all fucking awesome. Oh, so good. When I'm by myself, I think of the stupidest things. Oh, shit's awesome. Okay, bring the music back. I like to better when we have the music. No. 
I think I just heard somebody calling out. Don't tell me you're gonna go towards it. Follow the voice? No! Fuck no. You dumbass. Oh, it's back to like the normal music now. Uh oh. Yag. Yeah. Oh god, not another earthquake. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Shit's falling everywhere. Is it over? It sure looks like it. Are you okay now? Oh, it's right. She's dead to me and I hate her. Oh. Oh, it's so sad. They're like best friends and that shit happens. Let's go back in the disco. Let's go say hi to the ghost. Oh. Alright, fine. All attempts to enter are being blocked. Well, I guess I'm not going in there. <laughs> but when I sprained my ankle or I, I got a splinter. Oh. Well, shit. The floor collapsed. Well, gosh dang diddles. This happened because of the earthquake? Yeah, probably. I can't take this. Nay, all me. Get your ass over here. Why is it so loud? Jesus. <laughs> it's so loud right now. I don't, I don't want to change anything. Whatever. Oh, so sad. We really might not ever make it back home again, huh? This isn't a nightmare. It's actually ha- Really, really psycho. Is this just now finally dawning on you? You dumbass. I'm kidding, I love you. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell Naomi how much I want to bang. I should tell her how I feel. Oh. I was just joking. Or not. There's really no way it would ever work out. No, don't, don't. Stay hopeful. Try as I might, I'd stand no chance against Moshida. Oh, don't you, don't you put yourself down, Seiko. If you don't, if Naomi doesn't want you, I'll take you. I'd love you forever. Well, it looks like we have to go follow the mysterious voice. Sure, I'm sure nothing bad will happen as a result of this. Here we go. Hello, ghost voice. Oh, Seiko. That was the first time, huh? First time what, that you like, jerked off or something? <laughs> oh, the, f the first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. Okay, 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 yeah, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> pants, pants. <laughs> oh God, why am I running? I have a sprained ankle. This isn't helping anything. <laughs> From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head. Probably ghosts. Trying to possess you or something. Like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Where's the, was it the bathrooms? Yeah, yes. There you go. Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko, don't leave me by myself in here. Even though I'm the one that suggested we split up like a dumbass. Oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Hello? Ghosts? Is it, is it that ghost who said you're gonna kill me? I should go follow that noise, because I have really terrible judgment skills, clearly. Thank you. Is he taking a shit? Ah! But... But I... But I... But I gotta... I gotta take a shit! Fine, I'll go, go in the boys' bathroom. Oh, let's keep going towards the sound of ghosts. Uh, or you were the... Oh, yeah, you were the maggot bucket. Eh. Uh. All right, well, let's go see what's going on in here. Um. There you go. Everything all right in there? Hello? Occupado? That one guy gonna scream at me? Shut the goddamn door! 
Well, let's let's see what what delightful hijinks are in store for us in this this stall. Ah, shit, it's locked. Sorry, sick. I'll come back when you're done taking the shit. Someone's definitely in there. Yeah, what gave that away? Probably the fact that it's locked. Just a test. You know, just, you know, tip of my tongue. I don't know. Well, I'll come back later. Oh, oh, hey, you're done taking the shit. Hey, Seiko, how you doing? Oh, uh, um, uh, uh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! What? What? Seiko! What? Did no! She fucking hung herself, dude! No! <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Why'd you have to kill my waifu? God damn it. Oh no. God damn it. Well, now the game is ruined. Forever tainted. Unsalvageable. God damn it. No. I agree, Naomi. No. You see what you did, Naomi? This is what happens when you split up in a horror game or a horror movie or TV show. It's inevitable. You're someone's going to die. And unfortunately it wasn't you, Naomi. It, you killed her. I'm suing. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, oh she's save her! Get it, kick, pick her up! Holy oh, shit, get, get her, get her, get her, get her, get, lift her up! Don't tug her down, lift her on your shoulders, stupid! <coughs> God damn it! What do I do? What do I do? The, the, the fucking save her! Save my wife! The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling. Yeah, that's how hanging works. And there's nothing at her feet. What about the toilet? She had to get up on something. All attempts to help her just strangling her further. How though? If you pick her up, like you put your hands under her like armpits and you just go, boom, lift her up as best you can, clap her on your shoulders or whatever, then it'll loosen from her neck and she'll be able to breathe. Stupid dumbass. <sighs> but no, this this game. What what do I do? I save her. Uh, uh, is there a stool? Uh oh oh oh! Use the bucket. Use the bucket. Yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, 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 no. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, no. Mmm. Mmm. That's like, oh, goody. Mmm. Goody, goody, goody. A significant number of maggots have found their way into Naomi's hands and skirt. Thanks, thanks for that game. Thanks for that. Love it. Really appreciate it. It's great. I, I, I use it. Go, 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 go. Save my wife. Save her, save her, save her, save her. Go, go, go. I have a bucket. I have a bucket. Here, pee in the bucket. Please pee in it. There you go. <laughs> I let a couple drops out. <laughs> oh, no. No. No, don't tell me. Was I, did I not make it? Was I too late? Was I? No. Oh, oh, thanks. I hate it. Oh, I really hate it. That's a uh, very uh, lovely image. <sighs> well, I'm never ever sleeping again, so that's great. I love it. It's great. That's great. It's great. Oh God, I'm Seiko. I'm gonna miss you. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. God damn it, Naomi. You see what you did, you fuck nugget. Ah, a chew. Jesus, that must have been. Horrible to have to voice act that screech. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, that just sounds painful. 
Okay, Seiko, you can stop peeing in the bucket. <laughs> it's a little water dripping sound. Why? Why would you hang yourself? Probably because you just made each other split up. She wanted to bang and you said no, you fuck. Oh, you were smiling and laughing all this time. Oh, Naomi, you dumbass. Why'd you gotta go and kill my waifu? Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Says the one who said to split up. You stupid. God, I hate you, Naomi. <laughs> I hate you! The fact that you survive, at least for now, it's entirely possible you die in one of the next chapters. But we'll see. We'll, come, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Don't leave me all by myself. It's too goddamn late for that, Naomi. Sadly. Son of a bitch. Whimper. Say something. I don't think that she'll be able to. Unless she comes back as a ghost. She can, can, I, can I see her ghost moves? I bet they're pretty great. God damn it, Naomi. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, Seiko. Oh. I want to apologize to you for what it's too fucking late Naomi you had your chance and you didn't do it you stupid uh, Up until just a few hours before I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend Fucking every single day in the girls bathroom. It was pretty great Just finger blasting one another. It was a good time <laughs> Now here she was right in front of my eyes Lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I don't think you have a choice at this point, Naomi. Sorry. You did this to yourself, you dumbass. I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept- Why is my ear so fucking itchy? Could you not with that? I refuse to accept it. Oh, well, you're gonna have to. It just can't be- I mean, it is. Oh. Continued in chapter two. Let's fucking go, bro. Continue to second chapter. Oh boy, this has uh, been a long one. Sure, we'll save that system data. Also, if you could like not be super freaking loud, that would be just delightful. Well, all right, boys and boys and ghouls. <laughs> I've been going on for about 45-ish minutes now. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Um, I am very, very sad because I loved Seiko. She was my favorite. She not, not even not even was. She is my favorite character. None of the other characters in this game are in any way close to being as good as Seiko. And fucking Naomi got her murdered. You bitch. I hate her so much. I hate you, Naomi. Even though you have great tits, I hate you. So, but uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here because. Uh, Lord knows I need some time to mentally recover from that. <laughs> that just wonderful scene at the end there. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you see a ghost, make sure to punch them right in their ghost jugular for me. Especially if you find the one that killed Seiko. Or Naomi. If you find Naomi, you know, just, just, just kill her. Just stab her. She sucks. I don't like her now. He's dumb. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.